Have you wondered always why Windows Spotlight isn't working on Windows 10? Well, fortunately I have the fix for you guys. Now if this doesn't work, forgive me. But if you want to know how to find out how to fix it, stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix it. It's a very simple fix and I'll see you then. Alright, so this is a pretty simple fix. Now, there's plenty of YouTube videos that explain how to do this, but the ones I watched never worked. Now, now to fix this, it's quite simple. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to the settings. Go into the window settings, and then if we go to privacy, and then if we scroll all the way down to background apps, Make sure that this is turned on and that settings is turned on. You can turn off the other settings if you so desire, but make sure that settings is turned on. Okay. Once you do that, go all the way up back to general. Make sure this is turned on also. Now, once you do this, you can go into personalization lock screen and then window spotlight choose window spotlight make sure this is turned on okay then once you're done with that then we have to go into see users select your username and this will be a hidden file so to do that we have to go to view hidden items Make sure this is ticked. App data. Local. And then where you want to look for a folder that's called packages. Which is right here. And then in here, now this may look very intimidating, but it's really not. Now in here we want to go to Microsoft.Windows.ContentDeliveryManager underscore and then all the random characters okay now we got a list of folders in here we want to go to local state assets and then when you get in here press control a to select all this is fine and then you want to delete all the contents okay or press shift delete to permanently delete them. Now don't worry, this is totally safe. I promise, I've done this before. And then when you're done deleting all these files, go back to the Content Delivery Manager folder, go to Settings, and delete the two files in here. And then from here, go back to Personalize, Lock Screen, and then Windows Spotlight should work again. And I really hope this helped you guys. If it didn't, I'm sorry. But if it did, thumbs it up, comment, and I'll talk to you all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.